Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today's tutorial is how to set the image that shows up when you share a link from your website on a social media site, for example. A lot of times when you paste that link in there, you'll get a preview and you may be wondering, how do I set that? And you may not be happy with the one that's there by default. And this video is going to walk through how to set that. So let's take a look. There are a couple of ways you can set the image that shows up. Like when you paste your link to your website in Facebook or Twitter or something like that, there's a preview that comes up and then it will say the title and it pulls in some of the description. And there's a couple of ways we can do that. Um, it's fairly easy. In fact, it's already kind of built into WordPress, but we're going to show you a couple of ways that you can modify that. Um, and this is, you know, especially if you are new to this and maybe you don't have an SEO plugin or you've never heard of this before. And I'll just show you a couple of tricks even at the end how you can change it out. So basically we're changing that image that shares in the preview. Um, let's get started. The very first thing, it, it's really kind of basic and obvious, I guess, but setting a featured image. So in WordPress, you know, obviously you can set a featured image on a page or post. So here I am in the back end of a website page for uh, my demo for for Divi social sharing buttons. It's a, a module that we've created for Divi. And here you can see I already have an image in here, but then I could replace image or remove featured image. But the key is to have a featured image in here. And then when I go to view this, this link, this URL, and paste that URL into, say, Facebook, for example, this is the image here that should show. Now, I've had it times where like it doesn't show right away and some of that's because of cache um, the way it works like with these platforms Twitter and Facebook and all those they have you know cache to make it make everything load well and load faster and everything so if you go change it sometimes you'll have to clear that and we'll show you how at the end um, but basically always be setting a featured image I mean that's helpful in Divi you know like like for example right here um, this is, this is the featured image of this blog post. And then, you know, obviously if we go to the blog page, you know, where it shows the grid of all the posts, you know, that's, that's the featured image as well. So it's, it's, it's kind of like, duh, why not do it? So just set that. Um, so that's, that's the obvious number one. Um, but you may want to set something different. Like, like on this post, I may want a specific image to share, um, maybe for whatever reason. Um, and so you could use, an SEO plugin or an open graph plugin. Now, if you were to go, you know, into add a new plugin on your website, in fact, let me just show you that real quick. If I go over here and type SEO, you usually get um, four of them here. So Yoast and then Rank Math, all in one SEO, the SEO framework, okay? It doesn't matter. These are all preferences. Everyone thinks theirs is better everyone thinks the other one has problems, whatever. It's all preference. But if you're using one of these, more than likely, you could just, you know, don't worry. Just go and look for the feature in the plugin. You don't need to worry about installing a new one. So just go and use something. I'm going to be using Yoast SEO just to show you quickly. The same thing basically applies to all of these. So I'm going to install this and just show you real quickly where the settings are. So for Yoast, they add a new menu item down here, SEO, and we can hover over that and then you'll see one actually says social. So let's just go there and I'll show you what they have there. Um, when you, This is like the main default area here. So like here, um, well, this is for SEO. Remember, it's an SEO plugin, but it has these extra features. So like Facebook, right? I can come and click on that tab and it's already enabled, see that? And then here I can set an image. It says image URL and it's the default one. It says this image is used if the post slash page being shared does not contain any image. So back where I was showing you adding that featured image, like if I didn't have one there, you could set one that was like for your main site. Like or what I mean is it would appear on any page or post, whether you know. If you don't have an image, featured image set, that's the one that's going to show up. So you might want to make one, like let's say you forget sometime. It's a good idea to set one here. Maybe make it like add the logo of the 
of the website, you know, on a, on a on an image. And by the way, the image size I think that they're recommending is 1200 by 627 pixels. Okay, um, so it's it's almost two to one, but it's like the, one of those weird ratios. Um, 1200 by 627. Anyway, you would upload it there, and that would work. And I, that's a good idea. Um, having it like a general one. So like in case you miss something or someone shares like one of those random category, you know, a category page on your site or something, um, then you're covered. And then Twitter has just one setting here, summary or summary with large image. I would keep it on the large image. Um, the summary has like the little square on the left and then the title, but the large image, I mean, Hey, you might as well uh, get the most out of it. And there is Pinterest here. You got to connect the Pinterest. Um, and confirm with them and all that. So now I wanted to show you like if I go to any old page or post. So remember in this case I have the Yoast SEO plugin installed. If you have another one, you know, you'll you'll get similar things. But down here below uh, my post content here, there's tabs. And we're looking for the one here, social. So when I click social, you can see that there's um, a Facebook and a Twitter. So those were expanded. So right here, I can say, I can add an image, select image for my Facebook image, okay? I can actually go and just, like, so I specifically want, you know, this image to share to Facebook for whatever reason. Um, and there you go. And then here's Facebook title and Facebook descriptions. That's pretty cool. And then the Twitter preview is very similar. It just has the image the title and the description. So there you go. A, you know, a lot of the SEO plugins are going to have a very similar feature to this. So just keep that in mind um, when you're building your website in Divi and you come to the back end, you know, you may be working in the Divi builder on the front end a lot, but just remember to check your pages and come to the back end here, especially if you want something specific here. Um, and of course, you know, you can check if the featured image is working. I've had it, I think already, I forget the situation, but where the featured image was not working, I forget exactly why, but anyway. The other type of plugin, like if you don't want to use an SEO plugin for whatever reason, over on my demo site here, I actually didn't want to be using an SEO plugin because all it is, it's just a demo site. It's just a one page site showing the features of our plugin. So like, it's not like it's on our website. It's not like I'm like extremely concerned about SEO. I mean, sure, it'd be great, I guess, if someone found it, but it's um, it's just the demo. And so I don't need an SEO plugin on this site. For you, there's multiple reasons, you know, why you may not want it. It may, like I'm saying, a simple site, or you're just using a plugin that doesn't have that feature, whatever it is. I'm gonna show you a plugin. In fact, I'll I'll load it here. Let's go back here. I'll just add new here. And um, I have it linked in the tutorial there on the blog post. But just type in Open Graph like that. And it's a plugin that's called Open Graph and Twitter Card Tags. Okay. That's the, I, rec I really recommend that. That's a really good one. I've used that uh, multiple times. I have it installed there on, on that demo I was showing you. Um, it does what it says. You know, it, it works. It works well. Um, yeah, Open Graph and Twitter card tag. Tw Open Graph is like Facebook and some of the other ones, and then Twitter is slightly different. You know, they've all got to have their own little thing. But um, an Open Graph just means like there's meta tags on your website that the platform finds and uses. Um, yeah, you can look that up if you're really into the technical thing. But okay, so down here, I have this plugin installed Open Graph and Twitter card tags. So right there, you can see use this image. And then we can pick the image, right? Whatever we, in this case, we, we definitely, we already have it as the featured image, but we could pick that one, right? Not going to do it, but, and then there's description. And then you read this here, you know, you can actually fill in this description. And if you don't, it'll use the excerpt. Or if you don't have that, it'll pull from the content. I always recommend using an excerpt. This isn't supposed to be an SEO video, but in general, you should be using the excerpt right here. Huh, I don't take my own advice, but again, it's my demo site. Like, if it was my blog post, I always use that. In fact, why don't I just show you right here in this little, this area here, this is always the excerpt. 
So that's why I always write it in a way where it's like a, a summary of the post because that's what an excerpt is, but it's like it's like me summarizing it. So it's kind of like a cool thing that I do because it kills two stones with one bird. I mean, okay, I said that backwards. It's getting late. Um, anyway, I'm going to not even edit that to, to prove that this is what happens at 1 a.m. But okay, so you can use this, set the description if you want to override it, but if not... Now let's get to actually sharing it because you know we've been talking here but we're not actually sharing it. Let's go to Facebook. I copied that link. In fact, right here, I'm in the Divi Teacher Facebook group. It's kind of funny because right when I opened it up, it's like, okay, right there it is. So there you can actually see a live example of what it shared. I didn't even I was gonna paste the link, but I'm like, it's already there. Um, a few days before this recording. So but I'll just I'll do it anyway. So if I if I start typing here, whatever. Um, okay, yeah, if I start typing here and I paste the link at any given time, you know, it does its little thing where it's like, oh, it's like crawling the, the link and finding the MHC. That's what I'm talking about. And you can see how boring it is there. It says home and home, like there's no description. So that's really pathetic. I should say something like, you know, the, the new plugin from PA Creative or something. Yeah, I don't know. I should have a better title and description because, you know, you want it to look as good as possible. So here I am sharing the demo and I'm demoing what not to do, right? So you let's say I've already, you know, I've shared this or um, even now, like I think it's already caching it in the Facebook system. So if you go back to the blog post down at the bottom, we, we have the thing here, you know, image not showing or whatever. You can debug it. So Facebook has this Facebook sharing debugger. And it's it's kind of funny to say that word, um, the debugger. But if you go over to it, it's a tool that basically it goes and finds the data on your website to make sure that it's showing the, the accurate data in the link preview, okay? So if I paste here and then say debug, here it pulls up a bunch of stuff. It's saying, you know, about a minute ago, and then it's showing this here. Now, let's go change it, all right? Let's go back to that website. Now, let's um, let's keep the image the same, but that's, let's, let's change the, the title here. If I say that, and then uh, I should put like an excerpt in here, all right? And then always, you know, update your post and page. All right, we're going to update this and see if we can get the share preview to change for us. Yeah, and here you can see it says scrape again. I've already come in here and like kept, it took a little, it took a couple of times to refresh, so I'm not sure why. All right, it's working now. There it is. It updated to the title of my page and it, it added the excerpt in there. So there you go. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope that you you have this set, and if you don't, that you can be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go do that, especially, you know, setting that default and using the SEO plugin that you may already have. So, yeah, I really, I really think that this is kind of one of those small things, but if can you imagine sharing this, sharing something on, like someone shares something from your site and it looks really bad? Um, yeah, it's just one of those little things to help with your branding. Um, a little thing that makes a big difference. Okay, so there you go. Now you know how to set that image when you share your website. And just FYI, we have a whole archive here of tutorials. Um, a lot of them are related to Divi, our favorite WordPress page builder. Um, some of them are related just to WordPress, more like this one. And so I encourage you to take a look. If you're not subscribed here, you're going to get you know, probably 80, 90% Divi related content and most of it's related to web design. So there you go if you're interested and we'll see you guys in the next video.